missing out on what is. So I just want to say I am grateful Go for you. Go in the living room and act like that I because I want to call. The opportunity to I want to call. You, to talk to you. I don't know how long God will allow me to be spoiled like this and have a wonderful career. But as long as I, I have an opportunity to speak like with you, to talk to you, to broadcast with you, to play music for you, I want you to know how grateful, incredibly grateful I am. We'll be back. You're listening to the Lila. Oh. 
Delilah on the Christmas light at night, New York City. Call me. My phone lines are open. 1-800-222-1067. Although we have been through a lot. We are strong people. Thanksgiving is the time to remember. Well, that's also because I don't pay attention. Jeff, what can I do for you? Well, Delilah, uh, about three weeks ago, I met a girl over the phone. And... I just fallen so bad head over heels that I guess I keep screwing up. <laughs> How can that be? If you're in love, what do you mean you keep messing up? Oh, I just keep getting busy. There's things that continue to keep us going from apart because I own my own business and I just, I've been working almost 20 hour days unless she calls. Then it turns into 18 hour days. But so wait, you're, you're contradicting yourself. You're saying you're in love, but you're not acting like you're in love if you're putting in 18 hour days. That's true. The number one thing that somebody needs when they're in a loving relationship is what? Proof. Your time. Ah, that's right. You know, people can say whatever they want to say. They can say they're religious. They can say they have faith. They can say they love their kids. They can say they love their partners. They can say they love their country. Blah, blah, blah. Because talk is cheap. The way that you measure whether or not they're sincere is by how they invest their time and their energy. So if you are in love, demonstrate it by investing your time and your energy into the object of your affection. I see what you're saying. So which is it? Are you in love or are you infatuated? I am in love. Then show it by your actions. I will. Thank you, Delilah. Yeah, square up, bitch. Where you want? You want the
distance, but you still catch my eye. Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Well, it's been a year, it doesn't surprise me. Merry Christmas, I wrapped it up and said it. It's New York's Christmas well, Music like Station, 106.7 <laughs> Light FM. Okay. Since Come we're on, all on. home, I'm gonna turn on the camera. are there more cooks in your kitchen? Are there more folks, you know, since everybody's home with you? Or does everyone you love live on the other coast, on the other side of the country, or someplace else and you can't be with them this holiday season? I'll be with you. I'll be here with you, and whether you're cooking up something like sweet potato souffle or good old-fashioned green bean casserole, oh God, I will be with you oh, here oh to celebrate God. all that we're thankful for. You're listening to the Lila. The Delilah Show. What can I do for you? I would like to make a dedication. All right. Tell me who's on your heart this holiday season. My AA sponsor. Yeah, really like, good for you. How 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 much time have you got in program? Seventeen years. Oh wow, Maureen, awesome. And what's your sponsor's name? Maureen. Your sponsor is Maureen, and you're Maureen. Awesome, isn't it awesome? You are you are Maureen to the power of two. Maureen Square. Maureen Square. <laughs> How cool! And you're working the program, which is really helpful during the holidays. No. Yes, absolutely. What would what would people do without the support of sponsors in the program during the holidays? Yes. I have no idea. I don't even want to imagine it. I heard a, a friend say at a meeting one time, you know, when it comes to the holidays, she goes, my family, they're crazy, but they want me to be home. She goes, so I got one thing to say about family during the holidays. Be quick, be quiet, be gone. <laughs> and I just died laughing. I thought, how appropriate, because, you know, you feel obligated sometimes. Absolutely. But I'm going to see her tomorrow. You're going to go see your sponsor? 
Yeah, she's seven hours away, but I'm driving to see her for Thanksgiving. Well, happy Thanksgiving, honey. Thank you for calling. Thank you, Delilah. She's told me to do it a day at a time. Well, that's the only way to do it. Right, but I mean, she has really driven that point home. Happy Thanksgiving, honey. Have a blessed holiday. You too. I do apologize for very. I, yeah, guys, I do apologize. I do apologize for any of my words that I can't There's a Christmas party at the home of the gray. We'll be the perfect ending of a perfect day. We'll be singing the songs we love to sing without a single stop. And the fun we found was the Christmas party. There's a happy feeling nothing in the world can buy When they pass around the coffee and the pumpkin pie It will nearly be like a picture print like a real and I Our cheeks are nice and rosy and coffee cozy are we
to see what I could see. He took me to his workshop and told his plans to me. Now Santa is a busy man. He has no time to play. He's got millions of stockings to fill on Christmas Day. You better write your letter now and mail it right away because he's getting ready, his reindeers and his sleigh. thinking of? Well, there was a gal I dated a few years back. Her name was Star. And uh, we dated for a while, but then we kind of both, she had a job change and moved away. And and uh, I was just thinking about her tonight. So tell me about Star and how long ago and why she's still on your heart. Well, because we really had some good times like, together. And like she was a very, very attractive woman. That's what I hear. I don't know, I guess she just made an impact on me. I still think about her from time to time, and I just happen to be thinking about her again tonight. All right, well, I will play a song to let her know if she's listening that she's still on your mind. Okay, thank you, Delilah. You have a good night. (laughs) 